I'm really working hard at trying to make videos once a week, and I'm I'm going to do everything I possibly can to to keep that promise because um, the last video that I posted, I had no idea how many people were affected by it, and so um, I want to give a shout out to Greta because I'm sorry you lost your husband uh, from kidney disease, and I appreciate you sharing that with me. Um, it's made me all the more diligent to not have to do a, a dialysis or a kidney transplant even, which I'm getting tons of letters from at Virginia Mason because boy, they sure want me as a candidate. And so, um, but considering that they want me to have like nine different vaccinations, uh, it's not going to happen. I'm just not going to put that poison in my body for that. Um, I already got this um, thing put in my vein in case I had to get the dialysis. And now that I look like a monster and I'll probably never need to use it, um, that's about as far as I'm going to go. Um, I want to give a shout out to uh, Aaron Tuttle because he turned me on to this Huma, Huma Pro um, protein powder that's a vegetarian and it has, you know, little nitrogens and things. I ordered it. I haven't tried it yet. And then I got this stuff from, uh, uh, found it looking and searching for a nitrogen free type of uh, a protein. This is an amino acid that I got called Ketorina literally says medical food on it. So this is specifically made for people with CKD and, uh, you know, wouldn't advise it for, you know, you crazy bodybuilders that like to have tenfold, uh, what you're supposed to have. And that was me, which is why I'm doing, going through all of this. Um, so, um, I just thought I would talk to you guys while I made my breakfast and I've gone hundred percent vegetarian. So all these, the proteins that I did get that are, that are kidney, uh, friendly are all vegetarian and uh, nitrogen. This one here is nitrogen free. So that's what I'm curious about. Tastes like butt. It's really horrible. But considering I, I can't, I don't want to do any animal proteins right now. I want to get my kidney uh, numbers up. That's what I'm doing. So I'm just making my breakfast. Don't mind me while I'm talking because I haven't had breakfast yet. And, you know, this breakfast consists of uh, shiitake mushrooms and cremini mushrooms and, and baby buttons and a and, uh, couple um, red and yellow peppers diced up and yellow zucchini and green zucchini. And that's it. Um, I don't put any spices. I'll put some garlic in it. That's about it because, I do, again, I, don't, I just want everything to be as clean as it possibly can for my kidneys. Um, and then I'm getting a blood test tomorrow, so we'll see what happens as far as the uh, how um, my numbers are going up. I'd be shocked if they didn't go up because I have been so clean. And, uh, you know, just all these things are running through my head because I, I took my first nutrition class when I was uh, 26, so we're talking the 80s. So all the things that I've been taught and everything I know, I just kind of spaced out and got a little aggressive with the you know, building the muscle and eating all the proteins. And um, I've also gotten a few, um, uh, I want to say to Kathy Dreblatt that I appreciate your uh, voicemail that you sent, you, you gave me because, um, yeah, you should be paying attention because you're no spring chicken like me. So <laughs> get those numbers checked and get your blood test checked. So everything I'm eating is going to be not be vegetables. I stay away from fruits. I'll do a Granny Smith once in a while, and I'll do some blueberries. But that's about it because I stay away from sugars. And, you know, fruits are just sugars. So I, I'm also concerned about my, um, my levels um, of insulin, you know. That's a whole other topic. Um, but I'm going to go in tomorrow for the blood test. So I want everybody to know that. And I feel great. I got a new, uh, there's a new bed at the Pulse for Health that's uh, from Israel. And they, it's cool because it actually, ha it's computerized so that you can, you can uh, type in any type of ailment. Uh, and it just automatically goes to that wavelength. So we did it once because uh, he just got it on Friday, Sean did. And so he laid me on the bed and we did it half an hour. And it's absolutely crazy. Because unlike the pulse therapy where you feel the, the pulses, you don't feel anything when you lay on the bed. That's going to be a little too, too noisy. And so he has his magnet or something that he puts in your hand. And then when you put it in your hand, you can feel the pulsing. 
But other than that, when you're laying there, it's weird. You feel like this pressure. It doesn't feel, you don't feel anything but like this pressure and it makes you just totally relax. So he plugged in kidneys. So it's specifically a wavelength for kidneys. And then I went and did the regular pulse therapy and my photobiomodulation. So um, that place is really going to make probably, it's going to be 50% of my healing, I'm sure of it. Between diet and the, the pulse therapy, it's, it's going to be, I think I'm going to get much better. I cannot tell you how good I feel, and I'm not faking it, you know, trust me. If I felt bad, I would let you know because this isn't something to mess around with. Um, but I'm also not going to let surgeons tell me what I should do. I'm not going to have, I'm not, I'm not your normal person where a lot of these people wouldn't be able to eat the way that I do. Um, I have been disciplined my whole life uh, pretty much as far as how to eat. And then sometimes I go off the beaten path and I end up feeling like shit worse than a hangover. So I um, just really try to, to stay as clean as I can. And boy, I suffer if I, if I eat things with sugars. So... Um, this isn't that hard. It's just that I had to give up the meat. And now that it's been three weeks, you know, I was doing egg whites at first, but that was making me feel a little weird. And, and, uh, once I got off the egg whites and I didn't have any protein for probably 10 days, I mean, I, I didn't really feel anything. I just noticed that my composition in my body changed quite a bit. And so now that I've got these, uh, substitutes, uh, these protein, high tech proteins, um, I'm sure I'll start feeling a lot better. I'm making my breakfast and I'm, I'm doing it with uh, the vegetables. And that's real. I put a little bit of ghee in the pan. And so some of the, I'll, I'll use like um, coconut oil. And then I have ghee. And then I have olive oil. And then I have uh, this, this um, garlic olive oil. But there's something else I have, I have to walk away a second, um, that is, I have every single day and have forever. It's uh, hemp oil. And there's no CBD, no THC. It's just the highest omega fat you could possibly find. And um, I used to, I still, you know, like I test my fats based on how they get thick in the refrigerator. That's how, you know, you can tell it's got the highest omega and new t this uh, hemp oil you can put in the freezer and it's still as runny as water when you take it out. So uh, this is a really, I just think this is the best uh, high omega oils you can possibly dream of. You cannot cook with it and it's green and it has a very specific taste. So I put it on my salads all the time. Um, and uh, that's the only thing I do. I mean, if I wasn't eating salads, I would do a spoonful just to make sure that I had this good fat in there. So basically, I'm getting most of my, my energy from my fats um, and doing the vegetables for the, the little bit of nutrients. Um, I don't really do much dense nutrients yet because, like I said, I'm just trying to be as paranoid as I can. Here's my veggie mix. And I just let it saute for a while so that it, so that it gets nice and soft. I mean, I went from drinking ice water all the time and then the two months that I was feeling miserable after my contest, I never drank water. I chewed ice. I have an ice crusher on my wonderful refrigerator. And um, I couldn't do anything but chew ice. I didn't want to drink water. I just chewed and chewed. I ruined one of my crowns. And even when I went into the hospital, they have the best crushed ice ever because it just like dissolves in you when you chew it. Um, but after I got out of the hospital and, you know, when I was told about my kidneys, and I was, I was um, uh, dehydrated, so they had to put the thing in, in the saline in me. I realized that the chewing ice does not hydrate me. And I've been drinking room temperature water since then, and I feel hydrated. It's like I can drink a lot of water. Um, and I know there's some people out there like me that like that ice water, and I did for decades, and now, um, again, mm -hmm, you know, little light goes off and says, well, maybe it's not that good for you. We think, we talk ourselves into things that are great. One of the things I also am against, and, and you know, I'll probably get persecuted for this, but this is just my opinion, is um, taking uh, all kinds of food and putting them in a blender for a smoothie, because I, I think it shocks your stomach. It, it puts a shock to your system when you drink big glasses of 
everything in one meal. And um, there's a reason why we have saliva. And when you chew food, it creates a, um, a digestive enzyme in your mouth. So in, the more you chew, the more the digestive enzymes get into the food, which is what your saliva is supposed to do. Then it goes into your stomach, turns into chine, yada, yada. And that's, that's how your body is supposed to process foods. So I'm like a no smoothie, no shake person anymore because um, I want my body to work properly. I think too many people nowadays, but mainly because they're in a hurry and they need the nutrients, they just make a quick, quick smoothie or protein shake and they run off and, you know, y'all, it heals your body quicker and it's greater for after a workout. You know, I'm learning that you don't need a billion tons of protein to make yourself repair itself. So I could be just yada yada and I'm trying to think of other things that I thought of over the week. But that's pretty much the most of it is my, my finding of my new protein uh, replacements. Um, and I'll just let you know, I've been doing this uh, medical food uh, amino acid uh, thing for uh, four days now. So we'll see how I feel that. I haven't got the uh, ALRI Huma, Huma Pro. And I will definitely try that because I read up on it. And it seems like it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good product. Uh, so we'll, it will um, figure, because it's not dairy, it's not an a animal protein. And um, I can't believe I'm saying that either. I know people are freaking out because of <laughs> Mary and the meat eater um, turning vegetarian. So I heard there's some other famous bodybuilders, not, well, not famous, but some bodybuilders have uh, turned vegetarian also because of this whole thing. That's what I'm going to talk. That's this week's uh, thing. And I'm going to go tomorrow and get another blood test. That'll come in on Tuesday, the results. And then I'll be really excited to talk about it next week. As far as my suits and stuff, I, you know, this is my personal life. So I post this on my Mary Christine uh, page, but on Mary Christine Bodywear. Um, I'll also post on Mary Christine, but that's where all my suit stuff comes from. And I talk about that in my shop because it's, two totally separate discussions and I don't like really molding them back, but I've started on my first suits of the year and boy, are they looking pretty cool. You know, that's the thing about my suits is they're all different and everybody knows it. That's it. I'm going to have my breakfast now and um, I hope everybody has a great week and I will be back with you in another week and let you know what the status is. So I'm not dead yet. That's the big thing. I'm not on dialysis and I'm not dead. So everybody, I'm cool. I'm happy. I'll, I'll get this. I'll work it out. And I thank you all for your support because it's a big deal. And I also want to help other people that have this situation that feel like they're being forced into doing things that they don't want to do in terms of the medical field. Um, I'm just really angry the more that I look at how I was... Um, uh, um, how the suggestions of what I should do so I don't die uh, were just really thrown at me. And so I was a little overwhelmed and I, I really was uh, mind boggled and thinking, okay, I'll do this and I'll do that. Like this stupid thing, it's going to be with me forever. And I just don't think I'm going to need it. I really don't believe I'm going to need it. I, I'm a little bit pissed off about that, but that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother video. Me in the medical field, I, I've got a real issue with and, uh, I'm not going to ever change my mind about that because between the amount of drugs that everybody wanted me to be on and all that, it's just not going to happen. I'm starting to yada yada. So I will go and everybody have a great week and I will be back. <laughs>